Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall show how to perform DFT plus U calculation with Win2K. So we shall show how to include this DFT plus U option and how to prepare the input file for this calculation. We will start with showing usual spin polarization calculation so that we can show the differences between these two calculations. For that, I shall use the nickel oxide structure. If we click on the view structure, you can see this is the nickel oxide structure. Let us start now with initialization. I shall use all the default values. So, I will click here twice. Now, okay, the initialization is finished. So, I will run the SCF calculation this time only with spin polarization option. So, you can see the command line here this is the command that is been executed if you like to do this in terminal you can use this command uh, note that we don't have any extra flag but we will show that when we include the uh, u option or u correction we will have an extra flag here okay the scf calculation has finished let's check the dos Okay, let me change the energy range. I will use here minus 1 to 1 1.5 to save it. We will do this for spin down. Now, once I have this file already, so I do not need to do anything with the configure. Now, let us plot. So, I will uh, plot both of the for the both of the spins. Now, you can see from this uh, dos plot that this is metallic, there is no energy gap. So, we will do the now with DFT plus U. Before doing that, let me save the result so that I can show you the differences. I will save this result as PBE. Okay, the results have been saved. All the files, you can see all the files have named, renamed the PBE. Now, I need to prepare two input files for DFT plus U calculation. We will use a single program from here to do that. We will run this one first. You can see this has uh, produced this uh, INDM file. We need to edit that one. But before that, let me prepare the other input file. This time, I will click ORB option here. So, this has prepared that INORB file. Let us go to the files, input files. Okay, let us edit this one first. So, as you have seen from the structure, I have one nickel and one oxygen. So, for the oxygen, we do not have any D, of, uh, D or uh, F orbitals. So, there will be no correction for oxygen. So, we will have only the correction for nickel. So, I will use here one atom. Then, I do not need this line. Also, I do not need this line. Now, this is the U value and this is the J value. You can define them separately or you can use U effective. What is here? U effective and the 0 for Z. If you use 0 for Z, that means this is uh, u effective j is the um, interaction term that takes into account the uh, hun's rule and uh, for your system you have to decide what is the value you are going to use for you for this tutorial i will use the default one now let's uh, sorry i need to edit the other file also input file this one so since i have used only one atom i'll make it one and I will delete this line. Okay, now we are ready to perform the SCF calculation with DFT plus U. So I will check this box, start SCFL. Now you can see we have an extra flag minus ORB. This actually to include the orbital interaction. Okay. This is also quick like a DFT because it also take into account the uh, interaction in other orbitals, the, sorry, correction in the other uh, outer orbitals. 
So, let us uh, click the DOS. Okay. Before going to the DOS, let me show you the differences in terms of energy gaps. So, I will use here three lines, analyze SCF. So, you can see here the for the previous calculation, the DFT calculation, we had zero energy gap as we have seen also for the uh, DOS. Now, when I have included the U correction, you can see that we have gap for both the spin. For one of the spins, we have a gap uh, almost uh, 4 electron volt and this is actually the uh, gap in nickel oxide. So, for the other spin, we have uh, 2.54 electron volt. Now, let us calculate the DOS so that we can see it uh, visually. Since I already have this file from previous calculation, I do not need to edit any anymore. I will use the same. Now, do that for spin down. Okay, let us plot now. So, as before, I will include all. Now, you can see the difference from here. If you see these two graph, you can clearly see the differences in the DOS and the contributions uh, for the different spins. So, this is how you can do DFT plus U calculation. I hope this will be helpful. Thank you.